Anybody have any questions about life, work, school, rain? No? Okay. <laughs> Tanky. The tables are turned and the sharkies become the minnows and propose their own ideas to the tanky. Inspired by the work of Masamishi Udagawa and Sigi Molslinger of Antenna Design, our fantastic sharkies will show us revolutionary, groundbreaking, speculative design projects that will make our world a better place. Because the sharks are already so rich, they're not looking for money but instead for feedback on their designs. What amazing ideas will the Sharky show today? Let's find out. Everybody, please welcome our Sharky. Hello Sharkies, hello audience, we are here to introduce to you the next revolutionary twin communication, MyMelder. I'm the marketing director for MyMelder, my name is Ling and they are my colleagues. My name is Camilla and I am the lead scientist at MyMelder. <laughs> Hi, I'm Meng Zhen, I'm the product designer of MyMelder. Hi. We have... <laughs> We have prepared a very short clip about our amazing product and we will answer any question you have after the clip. Sounds good. Sounds great. <laughs> we believe we have reached almost complete connectivity through our phones, tablets, online messengers. The world is now indeed a global village. <laughs> One thing is missing, the ability to effectively read each other's thoughts. <laughs> it has taken us over 20 years to develop this revolutionary product that can drastically improve your life. This new mind collaboration tool is the Mind Melder. Its application is so simple. We have developed a patch with this secret formula and have tested it for years. Our patented product is 100% organic and is sourced from the rare Bamatula apple. So rare that it only grows deep in the Congo rainforest in Africa. It is only the indigenous witch doctors that use it in rituals to communicate with the gods. We have safely pulled out the active ingredient, Apollina 2479 and structured it into a product that can help us communicate <laughs> Take a chance on life. 
on real life collaboration. Wow, that looks like a truly groundbreaking project. Could you guys uh, tell us a little bit more about it, in maybe your own words? Of course. Our amazing product is designed to bridge the communication gap between you and people in your life. Whether it's a colleague, a friend, or even family members, our relationship can be increased dramatically with my mother. As we all know, we all express ourselves in very different ways. And we aim to translate those differences, so therefore eradicate misunderstanding in our everyday life. Yes, using Apolina 2479, we've created a compound which binds naturally to the neurons which fire between two people when they're communicating, thereby enhancing communication. Yeah, and also we made it into a patch, so it's very user-friendly and easy to apply. You can see it's like a bandit, so our user can choose when to use it and when to take it off. But why you made your product as a patch instead of like a pill or an implant? Oh, actually we did a lot of consideration in designing the shape. We made many prototypes and finally we decided to make it into a patch because it's a temporary solution. Temporary solution. So our users can choose when to use it. Exactly. We didn't want to make this into a pill or an implant because a pill would imply that there's something wrong with our user that they had to take a pill to fix their illness. Our implant is a far more intrusive and permanent solution for our design. So we again want to emphasize in our design that this is a temporary solution. Well. Yeah, that really uh, comes through in the design decision, actually. Um, and I'm wondering, looking at it now, uh, does it work for everyone? Are there multiple sizes? Uh, can I get my own? Uh, well, yes, in fact, we performed a double blind study on 5,000 people, and it worked on everyone. 100% success. 100% success. 100%. Wow. We found the neurological wiring was identical for each of our participants. And it looks like your product is really tiny. Did you bring it so that we can try it in the Yeah, sure. <laughs> Here you go. These are the trade-offs we have to face. Uh, making Adol and choosing the legless design was a very conscious choice, and every trade-off has its drawbacks. In this case, it means no, it can't really uh, go hiking or swimming, <laughs> although it can go anywhere else. But actually, now that I think about it, Adol's uh, hollow design makes it a great swimming partner. Just remember to dry him off afterward. I'll definitely do that. Yeah, I think the Lemnitz design is really a good idea. Thanks. Thank you very much for your presentation. I think we all learned a lot about how to make design choices in making innovative products. Hopefully our audience has as well. But now, does anyone have questions about design or design process? Who wants to ask questions? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> give it a give it off, please. please. how you came up with this, and it looks like you really enjoyed working together. So maybe just talk about your collaboration. We definitely had a lot of fun. Yeah. And you got other people involved from different... Uh, well, yeah, uh, that... We need to clarify that, because yeah. those two projects already, um, it was made for a different class. It's video and sound. I made uh, with Kimmy and Jillian yeah, for my mother. Stand up, stand Please up say, up thank, thank you all for the... And Ada is made by Yuan and Sandy. They're here in front of our They're very generous and they let us like use their amazing video and there is like pretty much a collaboration with a lot of classmates. It's such honor. But how about just how did you get the idea when you know talking about your process? Your design process. 
I'd say our design process started with uh, talking about the features from antenna, de the designs from antenna design that like didn't get made, like the smoking uh, treehouse and things like that. And then we just sort of started talking about all these other terrible ideas we had uh, that I can tell you guys later. I have so many. Um, and from there, we're like, what's a good forum to talk about these like design choices and like what makes something good versus bad? And Shark Tank came to mind. 